Notice how in today's gospel reading, our Lord points out that you cannot serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or be devoted to the one and despise the other. And then he says, you cannot serve God and wealth. In some translations, it's you cannot serve God and mammon. So mammon refers to wealth primarily, but it could include worldly things also. So the question we ought to ask ourselves is, what extent am I, to what extent am I serving God? And to what extent am I serving the things of this world or, or being a slave of the things of this world? Because we all acknowledge that we need to have a certain amount of wealth. So yes, we have to, to a certain extent, be concerned about worldly things. But really the main message of our Lord here is don't worry. And if we put God first and trust that God will provide for us, then we don't need to worry. If we are filled with excessive worry, especially about worldly things, about our wealth, then perhaps we're not really serving God as we should be. So, you know, consider someone who, who's pursuing wealth, right? That becomes the, their whole lives revolve around that. They spend so much time in their studies, they might spend extra time in work just to, to kind of get ahead. Right? But how much time do they spend pursuing the things of God or trying to lay up for themselves heavenly riches? Notice how our Lord at the end of today's gospel reading or near the end, he says, um, why worry about clothing? Oh, okay, consider the lilies of the field. So God provides for all these things. So strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be given you as well. Now, I think it's true to say that not in every case, so that we, we know there have been examples even of great saints who were in extreme poverty, uh, individuals who, who suffered a lot. But the whole point is that God provided them with the things that were most essential to their well-being, and that's the spiritual gifts. So if we put God first, God gives us the spiritual graces that we need to, to deal with whatever difficulty life brings us, whether it's poverty, sickness, or, or even being on the verge of death. But if we put our hope and trust in the things of this world, if we make wealth our master and pursue that, then we're all often going to be disappointed. We're going to be discouraged. You know, what if there's an economic downturn or, or what if somebody robs you or, or you lose your investments? You know, you become so discouraged, so despondent. God doesn't want us to be that way. So God wants us to be hopeful, but to hope in him. Yes, God wants us to plan for the future. That may in, entail investments, planning for your retirement. All of that is good, but you should do those things without worrying. Recall the apparitions of our Lord to St. Faustina Kowalska and the caption under the image, Jesus, I trust in you, not in wealth, not in my ability to, to pay for things, but Jesus, I trust in you. We need to trust in God. So consider, how much time do people in the world spend pursuing the things of this world compared to how much time they spend pursuing the things of God? How much wor how, and, and how, how, to what extent do people become worried about their finances? Do they become equally worried when they commit sin? Probably not, right? So it's, it's a kind of imbalance there, right? So we should be very concerned about our own sinful inclinations, especially if it's a grievous sin or a mortal sin. Ideally, we want to remove all obstacles to our union with God because we trust in God and we want to have a good relationship with God. And the better our relationship with him, the more we will receive of his graces to help us in every aspect of our lives, trusting that he will take care of us no matter what.